Morning, my friends. Let's have some fun here. It looks like I will make more symbolism videos since I made a stink of it. Everybody actually took action on it. So we'll have more fun with that. But look at this world of the Demi Urge. You're going to find out that, yes, the symbolism videos are really fun. It's really fun to understand our world, the origins, and all the stuff. Then you'll find out a video like this is super advanced after we do the whole entire thing of the symbolism then i ask you what did the symbolism mean what is it for it's more than um than we think it attributes to all of life how human beings act how we think is what all that symbolism is now Let's take a look at the world that you used to live in, the world of the Demi-Urge, where you're not allowed to understand yourself, you're not allowed to know yourself, you're not allowed to know anything spiritual. That is off limits. All human beings will ridicule you for that. Everything has to be the Demi-Urge flesh. The Holy Spirit is what the Demi-Urge finds offensive. So look at this world where all spiritual things are off limits and spiritual solutions we pretend don't exist. The, the spiritual solution is the only solution. It's the real solution. So look at this. Look at this, what I saw this morning. A choice was enough for my parents to let their guard down. And in retrospect, I can't blame them. This is the moment that we all became victims of so-called gender-affirming care. I was fast-tracked onto puberty blockers and then testosterone. The resulting when You know, aren't we supposed to understand male and female? Aren't we supposed to understand divine masculine, divine feminine? It's all already mapped out. It's all already told. It's all already known that you'll be an alpha male, you'll be a beta male, You'll be an alpha female or you'll be a beta female. So like hot flashes made focusing on school impossible. I still get joint pains and weird pops in my back, but they were far worse when I was on the blockers. A month later, when I was 13, I had my first testosterone injection. It's caused permanent changes to my body. My voice will forever be deeper, my jawline sharper, my nose longer, my bone structure um, permanently masculinized. My Adam's apple more prominent, my fertility unknown. I look in the mirror sometimes and I feel like a monster. I had a double mastectomy at 15. They tested my amputated breast for cancer. And I was cancer free, of course. I was perfectly healthy. There was nothing wrong with my still developing body or my breasts. Other than that, as an insecure teenage girl, I felt awkward about it. After my breasts were taken away from me, the tissue was incinerated before I was able to legally drive. I had part. I had to keep. Do you remember? Do you remember how hard it was to just be 13 years old? Do you remember how hard it was to just be 14 years old? Part of my future womanhood taken from me. I will never be able to breastfeed. I struggle to look at myself. L look at how these are simple things. These are just simple things of understanding that and we all already had that understanding every single human being already understands you might have a beta female you might have an alpha female you might have a beta male you might have an alpha male all these things are totally normal it's just the way that life works completely understandable by all human beings but when we take the understanding away when we hate the Holy Spirit. That's the way, that's the real context of this. This is the solution for I hate God. I hate the Holy Spirit. I hate understanding. I don't know myself and I'm not allowed to. All spiritual things, all understandings are forbidden. And this is the way that we solve problems because Without all of that, we believe we are our skin. This is what happens when you believe you are your skin. This is the monster things that you do 
to people. Look at this shit. This is crimes against humanity where everybody's had their egos used against them to let this happen. This is the human condition right here. The, just you being at the mystery school, somehow, I'm trying to show you guys, somehow. Well, I mean, it, it's hard to put into words. This is what all the symbolism actually was. This is what all of it was. It leads to high motherfucking wisdom. And somehow, I've, ob I've obtained this high motherfucking wisdom. Do you know what the high wisdom is? I'm not under this shit. All this shit, where all these people's egos are used against them, that's what I teach you here. This is what I've learned. I've learned how to not have my ego used against me. I myself, the real being of me, is the one that's in control of my life. My ego takes a back seat to me. It makes it able. I'm not a victim of all this shit, and I teach everybody not to be of it. This is this is a big deal. This is a big deal where all these discoveries have taken me. Here at times, I, would, I, still, I still struggle to this day with sexual dysfunction. And I have massive scars across my chest and the skin grafts that they use. That they See, what I'm trying to say is this education that I've discovered, this was supposed to be the education of all human beings so that this can't happen. This can't happen when we're running the world properly. Of course, of course. But does anybody know how to run the world properly? Does anybody know that it's already right there? It's already in front of everybody's fucking faces and they can't see any of it. So since we have nothing, this is what this is the monster things that human beings do as they hide it from themselves, as they lie to themselves. As they go, no, that's not happening. No, we're not doing that. No, we're the nice, loving, kind people. We 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 don't say the word retarded. We we've deemed the word retarded off limits and things like that. That's what makes us a good person, such great people. You know, when there's a retarded child, we deny that the child's retarded because we call it offensive. And I have massive scars across my chest. The, this is what they did. This is what the nice, loving, kind people do to people as they ignore it and say it's not happening and everybody's nice, loving, kind people, so ignore it even more. Skin grafts that they use, that they took of my nipples, are weeping fluid today. And they were grafted into a more masculine positioning, they said. After surgery... Um, how, about we, how about we dealt with your mind? How about we dealt with the way that you feel and let you know that it's normal? And um, the, the whole LBGT thing? That, that rainbow there's stolen from God. Um, you're already going to be every color of the rainbow you're already it's already told it's already told you you're gonna be original you're gonna and this was all to make it so that you're not original this was all to make it so that you're another brick of the wall in the wall you're told that you're wrong you're told that you're wrong for the way that you feel you're told that you're wrong for the way that you that you are and you're told and basically this is all to make you into the same lefty that everybody I, I hate to bring lefty into it but it's another brick in the wall this this is the kind of shit where these mentally ill lefties if you had an emotion if you fucking felt something they would say oh that's wrong nobody should ever feel you should take a pill you should take a pill that makes it so that you never feel again and then you came to the mid this, this is a big deal this was a big deal for every single person that came to the mystery school when i told you did you know it's okay to feel did you know that th there's nothing wrong with you? Did you know it's normal to feel? And what's abnormal is to strive your whole life to not feel. And all human beings are conditioned that if they actually felt something, that there's something wrong with them. Wasn't that the one of the biggest reliefs of your life? For some people, it's the biggest relief of their life. Some people, they've looked for this mystery school all their fucking life just so that I could tell them, did you know it's okay to feel? 
Did you know that you're not wrong? Did you know feeling is right? Did you know being told that you're not allowed to feel and if you felt something you should take a pill for those? Those are the people that are wrong? Those are the people that are wrong? Did you know that you're supposed to be every color of the rainbow? Did you know that you're supposed to feel? Did you know that you're supposed to experience? And look at what these monsters did to this boy, this girl. Look at what these monsters did because all mystery school things are off limits. All mystery school things are offensive. So this is what we do instead into a more masculine positioning they said what, what did they do they told they we didn't deal with your mind we didn't deal with telling you that you're absolutely normal and all this is fine we, we surgically altered you like the fucking anunnaki and shit the skin grafts at the yeah, the, uh, uh, I'm gonna make a video. I, I I was it was up in the air this morning. I was about to make a video on the UFO stuff, and then I I clicked on this, which is live, and I saw this part, and I said, "This is horrifying. We need to make a video. D this is real when it comes to the Anu. This is more real when it comes to the Anunnaki than the fucking UFO shit is fake. This." is the real genetic manipulation here. If anything is close to having a UFO hearing, it's this right here. That they took of my nipples are weeping fluid today. And they were grafted into a more masculine positioning, they said. So, sounds, like, sounds like we're playing Elden Ring. We're grafting human beings. You know, that's the whole entire theme of Elden Ring is grafting human beings identically to this. Are weeping fluid today. And they were grafted into a more masculine positioning, they said. After surgery, my grades in school plummeted. Everything that I went through did nothing to address... It, it, everything you went through did nothing because you take you wherever you go. Doctors are supposed to know this. People are supposed to know this. But they have their egos used against them. Well, people are, are fucking monsters. They have their egos used against them. And they'll do anything. No matter what it is. I used to make up scenarios like this 10 years ago, but I couldn't even make one up this horrifying. Real life is a lot more fucking horrifying than any of the scenarios I tried to make up for this shit 10 years ago. Trying to bring it to you. Trying to say all the, all of this. The, all the scenarios, I could never make one up this horrifying because it would have been too dark. It would have been too horrifying. Real life is darker than anything I could ever make up. Real life is more horrifying than anything I could make uh, of the nice, loving, kind people. What the nice, loving, kind people that have such great intentions. My underlying mental health issues that I had. So, so we completely mutilated your body, fucked you up for life, fucked you up mentally for life, and none of it helped you because... It, this is all mental stuff. So none of it changed anything mentally at all. It made, it, it compounded everything worse. Of course. Well, uh, of course, right? I mean, right? Everything that I went through did nothing to address. You wherever you go. That isn't that a big thing we learn here at the mystery school. Yeah, you could go, you could go spend some money, buy yourself some shit. Guess what? You're still you. You could go take a vacation. Guess what? You took you with you. You wherever you go, it, you'll find you, and you'll be there, and you won't be able to hide from yourself. And it's sad that they're that they convinced this girl, this boy. I don't even know if it's a girl or boy anymore. I, I have no fucking clue. I don't know. Um, isn't this sad? Aren't adults supposed to, um, have a, a child's back? Here, here's how we take care of children. My grades in school plummeted. Everything that I went through did nothing to address my underlying mental health issues that I had. And my doctors, with their theories on gender, thought that all my problems would go away as soon as I was surgically transformed into something that vaguely resembled a boy. Their theories were wrong. The drugs and surgeries changed my body, but they did not and could not change the basic reality that I am and forever will be a female. When my specialist first told my parents that they could have a dead daughter or a live transgender son, I wasn't suicidal. I was a happy... Isn't it weird? All the videos that I make uh, on just the Demi Urge and I talk about what's going to lead people to suicide. 
Look how they took what actually leads to suicide and they did the backwards. Doing all this shit leads to suicide. And what they said, the insane people, the narcissists, they said, if we don't do this, it will lead to suicide. So they did what leads to suicide saying, oh, if we don't do this, we have to do this or it will lead to suicide. Did, did any of these people care? about the children that they mutilate absolutely not they can't they they're they're these are low IQ people they can't walk a mile in somebody else's shoes they don't they don't even understand that they're mutilating other people this is all for the demi urge this is all because people are not allowed to know themselves they'll do anything they will you can get people to throw babies in a fire that was that was my that was my analogy 10 years ago you can happily get all these people to throw babies in fires and then they'll go around congratulating each other going you're the best nobody could the way that you threw that baby in the fire it showed me how much you love you are such when you killed that baby when you mutilated that baby it really showed how nice loving and kind you are it wasn't that so weird when i was telling you that 10 years ago doesn't that sound so fucking backwards and weird and then look at look at the world look, look look i predicted all of it once again here's the motherfuckers that throw babies and fires and they go no it was no uh, congratulate me this is what we decided on this is how we decided we're nice loving and kind people we kill babies D it, now it's pretty easy to understand bail worship you know, the real thing, the, the real bail worship where it, it doesn't matter if it ever happened because um, we'll find these sacrifice things were fairy tales. The sacrifice things in history didn't exist like we think, like all the human sacrifice. Well, here it is. Here, here's the bail worship. Here's the human sacrifice. It's different than what we thought. They never cared for humans in the first place. They did it all for an ideology thinking the, the baby killing, it's trendy. Trend baby killing is a trend and it's making me nice, loving and kind. And everybody's everybody loves me for the baby killing. It's different. L look how they're all normalized to it. Look how they think that it makes them good people to mutilate children. However, that's, that's a real thing. That's a real thing in the real fucking world. After my surgery, I did become suicidal. I'm doing oh, hey, guys, they, they did all this saying that we have to do this um, or somebody will become suicidal. But all of, all of this is what makes somebody um, suicidal. If they could have a dead daughter or a live transgender son. I wasn't suicidal. I was a happy child who struggled because she was different. However, at 16, after my surgery, I did become suicidal. I'm doing better now. But my parents almost got the dead daughter promised to them by my doctors. My doctors had almost created the very nightmare they said they were trying to avoid. So what message do I want to bring to American teenagers and their families? I didn't need to be lied to. I needed compassion. I need to be loved. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. These are the people that own compassion. Wait. Wait, wait a minute. These are the, the. These are the. These are the people that say that they're the most compassionate people that ever existed, and they're the owners of compassion, and nobody's allowed to know compassion, and and it's basically the left. The mentally ill left who cannot comprehend compassion claim to be the owners of compassion. They rule all of life by telling you that you're not compassion and they are it. And look at their, it was psychopath shit. Are you guys ready to use the word psychopath? You, you remember, you, you remember over these years, I've been telling you, they purposely changed, these mentally ill people purposely changed the word to sociopath so that you would never know that all of this is real psychopath shit. Well, we have the mutilating of people. We have, um, are you guys ready to understand that the word isn't sociopath? The word is psychopath. So what message do I want to bring to American teenagers and their families? I didn't need to be lied to. I needed compassion. I needed to be loved. 
I need to be given therapy to help me work through my issues. Yeah, you know? the, the therapy to work through your issues is letting you know that all these ways that you feel is perfectly normal. It's the outside world that made you feel the, these ways. There's no reason for you to feel like you're somehow doing something wrong or you're somehow a wrong person. You're, a, you're, you're unique, like how every single person is unique. That's all that this, this girl, this boy, that's all that needed to be said. That was the therapy for you to know you're normal. You're fine. Nothing wrong with you. You're unique. You're not supposed to be like everyone and everything. You're supposed to have different things to add. You, you, you are unique. My that, 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 that was the therapy. That, that was it. To be loved. I need yeah, you, you needed unconditional love. Yeah, that's that, that's the therapy that you needed. You got love of the fucking left. Um, the love of your your mentally ill parents that went along with all this shit. How about, let's see your parents. Are they hardcore lefties that they didn't even, I, I hate to say it, they didn't even care about their own child enough to say no, they were afraid to be called racist. They let all of this happen to their own child. Imagine that. You let the state do this, and this is what really happened. You let the state do this to your own child because you're afraid of being called a racist. You're afraid of being called a bigot. You're afraid to say, you're afraid to not let them do this to you because you're afraid. Somebody might say that, well, you're not being compassionate like we are. You have to let us m mutilate your child. And then these people said, okay, well, you got me there. Oh, I don't want to be called racist, so I guess you get to mutilate my child. And that's what happened. So these these horrible parents turned their child over to the state so the state could do this to their child because they were afraid they might be called racist. So what message do I want to bring to American teenagers and their families? Oh, I got, you know what message you should bring? That your parents should be locked up in prison along with these not doctors. You, you, all these people need to be put in prison and we need to understand what they have is a narcissistic mental illness. All of this can be cleaned up today. If we just understood the narcissistic mental illness, we don't let doctors, we don't let narcissists become doctors. We understand that your parents are the same narcissist that the fucking doctors that mutilated you are. To them by my oh, all of this can be known. All of this can be understood. Uh, unfortunately, it takes that great voyage that I did with symbolism that I'm taking everybody on. This is where you arrive after all the symbolism. You do great gain great motherfucking wisdom. Great wisdom through all the journey of the mystery school. You know, all of that symbolism, all of that history, all of what our ancestors left us actually meant something. You, you know how I took everything to Mesopotamia in the symbolism video? Yeah, there's the civilization that popped out of nowhere with all the information already and the entire world copied it. Every bit of that symbolism comes from Mesopotamia. All the symbolism of the entire world comes from Mesopotamia where all this shit is known from the beginning. The very beginning of history starts in Mesopotamia where all these questions were already answered at the beginning of history itself with all of the symbolism, all the symbolism that is around the entire world right now. Everything that claims to be a religion started off as the symbolism and the solution to all this. All the people turned it into the same demi-urge. Same demi-urge no matter where you go. That's why when you look at religions, you go, why is this some weird mind control cult? You know, no matter what religion you went into. If you were went into Catholic shit, you went into Christian shit, if, even if you went into Muslim shit, no matter where it is, it's like, why is religion not a, a functional thing? Why is it just a cult of mind control? Because it's ran by the people. It's ran by the demi-urge. It's not ran by the wisdom. It's not ran by the symbolism. No, the people took it over, which means the demi-urge took it over, which means it's just as dysfunctional and stupid as everyone and everything is. 
created the very nightmare they said they were trying to avoid. What, what did they do? Since they didn't do things correctly, since they did things by their ego, by the demi-urge, everything that they did was a nightmare? Everything that they did was backwards of what they thought it was? I'm doing better now. But my parents almost got the dead daughter promised to them by my doctors. My doctors had almost created the very nightmare they said they were trying to avoid. So what message do I want to bring to American teenagers and their families? I didn't need to be lied to. I needed compassion. I needed to be loved. I needed to be given therapy to help me work through my issues, not affirm to my delusion that by transforming into a boy, it would solve all my problems. We need to stop telling 12 year olds that they were born wrong. They are right to reject their own And office. this is what it comes down to, telling people that they're born wrong is what all this comes to. Isn't this already all solved by the teachings of Jesus Christ, by biblical stuff, by basic Christianity? All these things have been solved. This is We're looking at shit that's thousands of years old right now. All this shit of, but hold on, I feel like a girl, but I'm a boy. That shit's already been solved thousands of years ago. We're dealing with ancient fucking problems here. That by transforming into a boy, it would solve all my problems. We need to stop I mean, talking. what could be more... Th this, is, this is really what happens when you get rid of Martin Luther King. This is what happens when you get rid of the Enlightenment. This is fucking Dark Ages shit. This is low IQ before the Enlightenment. Before the Enlightenment of humanity, this is the way people used to think. This is the way people used to act. This is before the Enlightenment. This is what happens when you deem education offensive. When you deem the Enlightenment offensive. What else do you have? When you deem the Enlightenment of offensive, what the fuck else do you have? Olds, that they are born wrong. That they are right to reject their own bodies and feel uncomfortable with their own skin. We need to stop telling children that puberty is an option. That they can choose what kind of puberty they will go through. Just so they can choose what clothes to wear or what music to listen to. Puberty is a rite of passage to adulthood, not a disease to be mitigated. Today... I should be at home with my family celebrating my 19th birthday. And instead, I'm making a desperate plea to my elected, re my elected representatives. Learn the lessons from other medical scandals like the opioid crisis. To recognize that doctors are human too. And sometimes they are wrong. My and it's like w w uh, the whole opioid thing. It's like people don't know history. They don't know Chinese history of the, the opioid ep epidemic in China. And... Um, we're just replaying that in the United States as everybody's oblivious to history itself. Childhood was ruined. A lot Everybody acts like this fentanyl shit is new. Yes, fentanyl is new. And o an opioid epidemic is nothing fucking new. It's what destroyed China. Um, isn't China purposely destroying the United States with fentanyl? Um, that not that what makes fucking sense? I guess it takes all the symbolism. I, I understand all this is nothing could be more simple because my ego isn't running my life. These things aren't hidden from me. My ego isn't used against me like all human beings have their egos used against them. They do the bidding of the demi-urge. That's what you learn here at the mystery school. You learn to not have your own ego used against you. You learn all these tricks. You learn to be your actual real self that isn't bullied by all of this shit. Thousands of detransitions. I mean, when you reach that level, I can't even understand how these people are bullied. I, I'm the, I explain it. I explain how the ego is used against you. And you do all this shit, all this shit when you see, you have to believe that you are your ego for your ego to be used against you. Once you learn here at the mystery school that you learn that you are not your ego, all this shit starts failing. The moment that you learn you aren't your ego, all this shit works when you believe that you are your ego. All these people bullied by the demi-urge, mutilating children, proud of themselves for doing it. 
known through our networks. This needs to stop. You alone can stop it. Enough children have already been victimized by this barbaric pseudoscience. Please let me be your final warning. Thank you. Oh, no, they, they won't listen to the ones that they mutilated that say stop the mutilation, stop the torture. No, they won't. No, this is um, an ideology of the Demi-Urge where anything that, that goes against it, you know what they're going to do? You know you know exactly what they're going to do to this little girl? This little I just still don't even know. Little girl, little boy, I don't know. Um, they're going to tell her that you're not black. And I'm not kidding. I am not fucking kidding. Since they, they did it to her, it's all done to her. And then she says, stop. Well, the moment that she goes against this, even though it was all done to her, um, they're going to say, you're not black. Joe Biden now says, you're not doing what we told you. So now we decided you're not black anymore. And that's exactly what will happen. They'll, um, they'll do the, the slander, blackmail and extortion because somebody said something about something. You're not allowed to say anything. You have to let all this mutilation happen. You have to let it happen to your own children. You're not, you're never allowed to say anything about it. And if you ever did, well, they're going to say that you're not black. Oh, guess what? You're not black anymore. Today's your birthday. All Democrats are black and all Democrats have to do what Joe Biden says or you're not black anymore. It is. You're a beautiful, brave woman. Thank you for being here. Uh, Miss Reynolds, you're next. Yeah, you needed to be told that you're beautiful when you're a child. You needed to be told that um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. Where, where did you get these ideas? Where did you get any of these ideas from the outside world that somehow you're born wrong? There's nobody that's born wrong. And there's absolutely nobody that's born wrong. There's nobody that's born in the wrong body either. Um, you, you could be a beta female, you could be an alpha female, you could be a beta male, you could be an alpha. These are all as normal as normal can be. Much love to everybody. I hope you have the greatest day and the greatest life. Not having your ego used against you. Being a truly free human being under God, not under the Demi-Urge.